monkeys are natural born explorers. So when the man with the yellow hat decided to visit Bunch of Beak Island to photograph birds, George decided to explore with him. Here's the radio, here's the throttle, and here is the key. <laughs> Think the key ring is big enough? Easy there. <laughs> Fun to play with, though. Okay, here you go. Careful. That's the only key we have. Really? Huh? Aye. There used to be five keys, one for each quint. The first key fell down the drain. The second key fell down the drain. Third key fell down the drain. What happened to the fourth key? Mm. Probably fell down the drain. So be very careful with this key. It's the only one we've got. Don't worry, Mr. Quint. We'll take good care of it. Won't we, George? <laughs> Maybe they just liked keys because they were shiny. He did like shiny things. This was working better than George had hoped. But the otter was pretty fast on land, too. And now he had George's fish fob. Not only were otters fast in water and on land, but they had really great hiding places. And then George remembered. He must live around here. They usually have homes called dens along the shore. Maybe that was the otter's home. <laughs> oh, no. The otter was underground, and George was out of shiny things to lure him out. His only chance of getting that key was to find something else the otter might want. Seek, keep away, and chase. Maybe otters would play. Trade ya. <laughs> the trick to trade ya was to make your toy look a gajillion trillion times more fun than anyone else's toy. And George was an expert at that. It was by far the most amazing toy the otter had ever seen. The otter hated to give up his shiny key. But the ball was more fun. Oh, wait till you see the pictures I took. I got a rose-breasted grosbeak, a pie-billed grebe, and a coot. You ready to go home? Ah, Mr. Quint's key. You kept it safe, George. Otter loved both his new toys, and he didn't miss the key at all. Especially since his dad had four just like it. 